What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and we are back to talk about the aftermath of Mortal Kombat 1's story. Combat Pack 1 is almost done, so this thing should be dropping on us pretty soon. Now last week we took a look at Quan Chi's ending and it gave us some pretty good insight on his character and his motivations moving forward. But his ending ties directly into Ermac, so today we're going to be taking a look at Ermac to see what happened to him after Mortal Kombat 1's story. Let's get into it. Before we get started, to those saying I pause it too much when we do these, this is not a reaction video. It's more of a discussion piece. So if you haven't seen the ending yet, go check it out and come back. For a moment, Jared took control. We fixed the damage which had allowed him and reimposed our collective will. That's what I love to see. This was kind of like the scariest thing in Mortal Kombat 1 story when it comes to Ermac. They let Jared take over and he was switching from Jared to Sindel. You know what? If we're going to keep those characters alive in Ermac, I'm completely fine with it. But for them to be controlling Ermac and just seeing King Jared's face on him as he's walking around talking to everybody, I did not like that. Because I thought they were going to keep things that way moving forward. But as we see here... Ermac has taken control, he cancelled Christmas on Sindel and King Jared, and we got back the Ermac we all know and love. He even got a mask, which makes him look a lot better. Speaking of looking a lot better, Melina always looks good in these um, tower endings. Look how she looks here. She has like a queen look to her. Hopefully we get to see that Melina moving into Aftermath, but let's go ahead and continue. But the damage went further than we thought. Without Quan Chi's aid, the spell which birthed us would fail. All of our souls would die. So it looks like Ermac was flawed when he was created because these souls should not be able to take over and run the ship. And when Jared did that, he kind of damaged Ermac to his core. And there was only one person who could fix that damage. And this is where it gets interesting. We freed the sorcerer from captivity but after healing us he betrayed us quan chi is a bad man now for one again ermac just pranched right in and freed quan chi we see all of these guys getting freed from this prison i agree with y'all in the comment section as said in the last video they got to get some new guards here but quan chi is such a bad man that Ermac came in to save him. And he didn't say, thanks, Ermac. You know what? I got you, buddy. I'm going to fix you up. And then I'm going to send you up out of here so you can be on your way. He betrayed him. You break me out of this cage. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to betray you. But as we see here moving forward. He schemed to make us his slave once again. Combat was fierce. Yet we persisted. Fine. Strength and the unique abilities of our collective souls. So, Quan Chi is still as devious as he's ever been. You know what? Thank you, Ermac. I appreciate you saving me. Right after he turns his back, he tries to take him back in as his slave. And it's interesting here because we can see Sindel still popped out. She still popped out to prevent Quan Chi from taking over. So I'm very interested to see how this Quan Chi operates in this new universe because I think he's going to be a dirty, nasty man, just like we saw Shang Tsung was in the previous universe. But I think Quan Chi is just that much dirtier. But where does this leave Ermac? Did Quan Chi actually end up healing him before he broke him out? Or is Ermac still on the outs? Let's see. Now we must decide our future path. Reconciling our desires will be difficult, but reconcile them we must. Okay, reconciling our desires will be difficult. Now, it's not, we really don't know who's all in there. We have no idea. They could introduce other characters saying they're in here as well and cause even more of an internal struggle. We know Sindel in there. We know um, King Jared's in there. Sindel, I guess she's kind of a good guy, right? I guess you would say she's good. So if she's on the good side, but then you got evil souls in there saying, listen, we're not doing that. We want to take over. They're going to have to get it together. If they can't get it together, might be it for Big Ermac. If not, we will be consumed by civil war. 
And there you have it from the man himself. If they can't get it together internally, they will be consumed by civil war. Now, where do we go with Ermac moving forward? Because it looks like his battle's not really on the good side or the bad side. His battle's gonna be within himself. I don't see him joining Quan Chi, especially with Sindel and uh, King Jared in there. I could see him more joining Liu Kang. So is it possible Ermac is another one of these characters that will end up on the good side, just like Reptile, just like we see um, Baraka? I don't necessarily want to see him on the good side because I think if he ends up with Liu Kang, they're just going to put King Jared's face on him permanently. And that is the biggest fear I have for our boy Ermac or our girl Ermac our group Ermac, whatever they are. Let me know in the comment section, where do y'all wanna see Ermac go from here? But do me a favor and drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you're ready for Mortal Kombat Aftermath because you will get all of your updates right here. Bomb Squad, let's get to that.